Hey, we are Ben and MP, and we are rebuilding this big old Brazilian schooner so we can soon go and live on it and travel the world. The roof of the superstructure had been prepared with epoxy and made smooth, and we were just waiting for a nice day to be able to fiberglass it. This day has finally come. The only issue is that Nico, MP, and I had never worked with fiberglass before, so we were very curious to see how this was going to go. Are you also curious to see how this is going to go? Have a look and find out. Today is a very good day because we weren't planning on coming. We woke up this morning and oh, the sun is shining. So what does that mean? There's not a cloud in the sky. I think I can count three, which means we're going to finish, hopefully, fiberglassing the superstructure of our boat. So this is all ready. We've just done some final touches. I'm just waiting for some little last bits of epoxy to dry and then we're going to sand that off and finish it once and for all. We've got Nico, MP, me and even Zeka has come and said, do you need any help? We said, yes. So we've got a few people mixing the epoxy, espaliating it, which is the Portuguese, spreading. spreading it with the spatula thingy and then we're going to finish it hopefully. And that's going to be such a relief because then after that it's just applying a few layers of epoxy and then the varnish. But this is a big step for us. I'm so excited. Okay, that was dramatic. It's about to happen. This fiberglass tissue is about to go there on our roof. And I am very nervous because working with fiber is the first for us. The only thing we've done so far with fiber was removing it. So I know there are a couple of tricks and things I have to pay attention to. We got a lot of tips from experts, so we'll see how this goes. Some of the men's a bit. And then we need to make this little horn of it and then we can start epoxying already. I'll tell you something funny. So Irus, the guy who's helping us out with the project management, he used to work at a, a company that it works a lot with fiberglass and like fancy luxury yachts said we're gonna have to mend all the sheets of fiberglass together like this or that and then both MP and I thought it would be like you had to weave everything back together so I was picturing a lot harder work than having the two ends just overlap each other so I'm, I'm relieved this is all we have to do even though it is a big work I was expecting to have to re-weave two of the sheets together imagine that Okay, ready to make some epoxy MP? Let's go!
dos anais lá. I think the deck's not standard and ready yet. Where's the epoxy? Down there on the tabika. You cannot see your people. So technically we have finished. Oh. <laughs> technically we have finished because the main reason for this fiberglass is to waterproof all the seams on the roof, which is done. So whatever we can make look nice in the sides here is good. And if that doesn't work, we could just sand it off. So this is why I'm very relaxed right now. There's no rush. If there are bubbles or anything here, it's all good. So seeming it's three people, Nico, MP, camera woman, and I. We have done this for the first time with no prior experience to any fiberglassing. I think this is a job well done. Can I ask you to correct yourself? Was I only the camera woman? Oh no. I mean current camera woman who's actually behind it, you know. Turn the camera around, say hi to say hi to your friends and family. Hi. <laughs> that MP had also never mixed epoxy before, right? Yeah, it was my first time and I did it the whole day, bringing batch after batch for the guys. And you corrected some bits that were bad? We didn't do very well. This stuff just is so difficult to work with. We want to teach you a word in Portuguese and it's ahazo, which is like you wrapped it. You Owned it, and I think we owned it. Ahazo, ahazo, ahazo. Now we just need some finishing touches, which means sanding it down gently, cutting off the remainders. We're going to wait for it to dry a bit uh, tomorrow. After tomorrow, and sand it down a bit and apply two more layers of epoxy. Or three. Or three, or and then layers. Yeah. Or five, or six, <laughs> or seven, or eight layers. So there's a lot more to do. But and this, then the varnish. Yeah, I said the varnish. Oh, okay. And then. Yeah, then this is finished, which has been a hell 
of a job, at least the epoxy layers after this and the varnish are quick jobs which you can do in the morning, afternoon, it dries quickly, but this, we had to wait for this day and thank you, that was nice. Thank you, Sun, for coming. Thanks, Sun. Thank you, Nico, for coming. Thank you, Nico, Today's for coming. Today is Saturday and we are here, so thank you so much. So remember much. this, the word of the day, ahazo. 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 I feel it's my obligation to clarify that this is definitely not a tutorial. This is not a video on how to apply fiberglass. This is us doing it the way that we could, the way that we learned. We got tips from people that do it all the time, but we, the three people that were here, we never done it before. It was our first time. We think the result was pretty good, but we need the opinion of experts to let us know if it was actually good or not. Let's see what happens next week when they come and see it, but we're happy. We're happy and it's done. And my fear of it becoming white was wrong because it's definitely transparent and it's pretty. And that was it. Come Kyle. What did you say? Caio. Caio. I'm sorry, Stephanie. So, Caio just told me that if you're enjoying the content, if you thought this video today was cool, you should subscribe to the channel so you can see more of these videos. So, I'm quite chuffed with how this fiberglass ended up as it was our first go. Of course, it's a bit rough, a bit bumpy, more epoxy there, less there. So I'm going to start cutting off all these excess bits of fiberglass um, and I'm going to go over all of this with a little sanding paper, uh, take out all the bumps and then see how smooth I can get it before I apply the next layer of epoxy. Now from what I understand is you apply a layer of epoxy, you let it dry, you sand. Of course it's always going to be bumpy the epoxy because it dries in a kind of bumpy way. Then you sand off another layer once it's dried and you apply more epoxy until you get the level of flatness that you want. When, when we reach that level of flatness, we can start applying the varnish. It's going to be a bunch of layers as well. So we're just going to go and play it by ear and see what it looks like after every sanding, after every epoxy. gone over most of the bubbles now normally there aren't any bubbles if you're working with new wood however this was old wood and I don't know if you remember we were actually filling all the holes with the resin uh, now when you're fiberglassing the roof and you're throwing epoxy on the top it's supposed to stay on top of the wood and bind the wood with the fiberglass however if there's any slightest hole or crack in the wood that you're putting it on the epoxy will enter that and will not bind the fiberglass to the wood. So in our case, it's a very old used uh, roof wood. So I'm just going over some of the little balls. Compared to the size of the roof, I think it's not too bad. None of them are on the seams, so that's also not an issue. And now I'm going to just compress and clean all this off. 
see if there's anything I've missed and then I'll go over it with a general sanding. So then I can clean that then and then apply the first layer of epoxy on top of the fiberglass. So hot, but I'd rather have this on and not have as much issue with fiberglass than have a t-shirt on. But it is hot. Oh, now it's on my face. This is now all sanded, sides, tops, front, everything. Uh, my goal here wasn't to completely sand it flat, as in remove all the bumps, because you can see in some areas where it's a bit fibery and some a bit epoxy -y. Uh, So my goal now is to clean it all with ethanol, make sure it's really, really dust free and humidity free, and then go over it with a layer of epoxy. So all this little epoxy sticking up for example is going to be the same level of the epoxy that i put on so the next level i put on of epoxy layer i can kind of sand it a bit flatter um, same thing if it's not flat enough another layer of epoxy sand it and see how flat i can get it without seeing any of the fiberglass texture on top so it's all got to look like a bit like this so it all has to look like this and remove all of this stuff that's the goal for now and the hero for today is the guy inside here we'll go all the way around have a look at this roof so this has been done a while ago look at the rest over here this whole roof has already got a first layer of primer paint on so you can see it's still got some dark patches and light patches so what's going to happen now is busy mixing up another batch of epoxy primer and he's gonna go over it again including that wall over there and if we go more to the bow this wall over here when that's done I think everything will have about two layers on which is just enough because it is a primer after all then we're gonna sand it down a bit make sure everything's nice and flat and smooth and then apply the real paint To be honest, when I arrived here this morning and saw the fiberglass, which was just 
nothing had been done to it. It just dried with the epoxy and it had been left for a whole day, two nights and a whole day. We arrived this morning and I think we were a bit shocked because we had no idea what to expect this to look like because it looked horrible. It was bumpy, all the mends, all the parts where the epoxy and fiberglass came together were all sticking up and it was there were some bubbles everywhere and we were really afraid. So we just got to some sanding, sanding some bits down. Uh, of course, we made the fiberglass overlap a little bit and we also made the epoxy slightly thicker on Saturday just in case on the men's, sanded it down and going from this morning to what we're seeing now which is having it sanded down, cleaned, uh, smoothened and everything and a first layer of epoxy resin on top so you're looking way better and I feel a lot more relaxed and I'm feeling happy with the result. This morning was just a shock with all the mess. So, all that stress was for nothing. Relax, take your time, do it step by step and it'll be fine. And that rhymes. The last batch has just been made. I don't know how much of it I can film because Nico's got some for the roof and I'm gonna do the sides a bit and I don't want it to catalyze. So we'll see what we can film from this. Oh yeah, I forgot I was filming. So this is all done now. Have a look at that. Oh, shiny around the edges. Now, of course, here's a little bit that I have to fix. Don't know if I should show that. But, oh, this thing keeps sticking. And over here, I've managed to go all the way up to here, which gives that much to go, which shouldn't be that much of an issue. Work on that tomorrow. I'm gonna sand this down, see where there's too many lumps and put another layer on. I'm feeling chuffed about this. Adding the fiberglass was a huge milestone, but our roof is still far from being ready. Stay tuned because our journey is not near the end yet. And every Sunday we'll be posting new episodes showing how everything is going around here. Before saying bye, we would like to welcome Ledo, who just joined our Patreon community, which means he has just unlocked access to exclusive content, real-time updates, early access to the episodes, our community chat, live sessions, discounts on merch, and a lot more. And we would also like to thank the PayPal donations from Richard, Brenda, and Webfront Design, and also the super thanks that we got this week from Philip, Joseph, Fernando, Vicky, and Inacio. Thank you so much for your support and hope to see you all next Sunday. Bye!